What's up guys, we're out here at Moore Expo 2022 and we are gonna take you through what should be mostly the vendor parking, but let's go check it out. We've got Yoda Mafia Ice Company. I'm not real sure what that is. Overland Bound. R rig with the R scribed into the windshield. The, everybody knows the Artemis rig. I like this stubby uh, aluminum bumper, that looks cool. Looks like he's got his air shock controllers or gas shocks. Camaro, dyno jetted, wow. 6.2 V8. Uh, what is it, Tacoma, older model there. Not real old, but older. I always like seeing an F-150 with a little mud on it. Yeah, we've got a Dodge V10. I don't know what the hell that is. Now here, we look at this. We've got a Subaru. He's got his chainsaw, his action tracks, and his gas mounted with his rooftop tent. This guy is ready to hit some trails in the Ozark Mountain. This is the one that honestly actually caught my eye. Even sitting next to the Bronco, this one caught my attention more. Because I'll be honest, I really like the wrap. That is a cool looking wrap on this thing. I like the color scheme, I like the wrap, I like everything about this. You've got the Bronco, it's a two-door Bronco. I'm not sure why you would do that. I love the paint, this is that antimatter blue. It looks like he's got aftermarket Ford wheels. That bumper looks sick. DV8 with a built-in light bar. That thing's just nasty looking. All right, uh, one of those hitch-mounted uh, winches. Okay, down here, looks like we've got a guy with his rooftop tent open, probably in there taking a nap. He's got his car rhino lined. <laughs> looks like maybe an older Toyota or something. I don't know, there's no badging on it. Looks like an older Tacoma, new-ish Tundra. All right, so we've got a Toyota. Holy crap, this guy falls way too close to everybody that's riding with him. <laughs> He's literally got rock chips all over his windshield. <laughs> uh, these big antennas is what drew me over here. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Like he's got SpaceX satellites launching off of this thing. Shovel looks like it's about to rot in half. Cool rig though, man. I, I like the like nitty gritty, you've used the hell out of it. Look at his jack on the back. But I tell you what would make this rig way cooler is an off-road recon sticker on it. And I'm not seeing it, so let's move on. So we got a ZR2, oh, this is an Opus rig. Got the auto cab on it, probably 17 to 19, I'm betting. Nice setup, power tank, propane. These Alu cab setups are always really nice because even though it's like a, a name brand and all that, they always look custom to, to the rig. Every single one of these Alu cabs I've ever seen, they always look custom to the rig. I just wanted to show the bike rack on this thing. <laughs> it's got the ARB bumper on it, which I, I wonder if the, the bumper is just, there's not a whole lot of options for these because you see so many ARB bumpers on these. Wait, this might be Chris's rig. I feel like this is Chris's rig. Chris, is this your rig? Comment below and let us know. I feel like it is. I feel like I've seen this thing on the trails with us. But I like these mud flaps. Let's get these mud flaps on there. Here we got a little renegade build. I mean, anybody that's gonna buy a renegade and build it out, I'll give you some props, cause look, this thing's like rhino lined, snorkeled, and I'm pretty sure I mean, he's running the, the aftermarket bumper with a Warren winch behind it with a Factor 55. I mean, this thing is about as sweet as you can make a Renegade. This is it. This is probably the coolest Renegade I've ever seen. Mercedes van builds, like who's into that? I'm into that, I think they're cool. This has got a rack up top. There's a dog sitting inside, probably people in there sleeping. Cool rig, got Baja design lights on the front, a big brush guard bumper. This one's lifted a little more. Look at this dude, old school off-roader. What's up, man? Open it up for you, you want to check it out. Oh, is this your van? Huh? But I've got it set up with uh, L-Track bunk beds. And so- Nice, you got your um, Snowmaster. Yeah, I got a little toilet in the back. Okay. Um, shower out the back, got water kind of out the back as well. That hooks into a little hot water heater. Um, All right, man, we'll see you in there. Yep. A new. Boy, I don't know if that's a new Tundra. It sure looks like it. I'm still liking that little Renegade over there. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Smart build, man. Got a lot of money in that. And then he's got an off-brand GoPro on the dash. $100,000 right there in that truck. and He's got like a $30 GoPro on the dash. 